Hello Aries, so this is your first half of the month reading. Also, please excuse any background noise. Um, so this reading is going to have general love messages, career and finance, and also I'm going to be doing all signs. So let's start with the general messages to see what's going on. Okay, so universe, give me a three parts by the messages you have for Aries for these next two weeks. here and now higher power and then there is message in the bottle and regeneration so someone in the past is probably resurfacing this is mercury retrograde month it's going to be in the sign of libra which is opposite your sign so you guys most likely would get affected too um but what i'm also getting here hold on let's see universe cover regeneration universe Treasure Island. Okay. I also see these next two weeks, you are going to revitalize yourself. So let's just say you've been feeling really overworked, you know, you're feeling burnout. I feel like in these next two weeks, you are going to prioritize you first. Okay, self-care. Some of you guys are taking vacation. Universe clarify treasure island. Universe clarify treasure island. Universe clarify treasure island. Universe Clarified Treasure Island. Milk and Honey. Yep, I do see you taking some vacation time within these next two weeks or after these two weeks, okay? So let's look at the other deck. Let's see what else I'm getting. So let's see here. Universe, give me a four card spread. Let's just see how for Aries for these next two weeks. Universe, give me two of my cards. Universe, give me one of my card. Okay, so first position, there is woman dealing relationship with a woman, and then purse. Pay attention to your finances. Okay, so I feel like. And then we got wealth and then there is our good advice from a wise person okay this could be you it could be someone else who is trying to um either use you or trying to swindle you out of money okay but i feel like this is it could be you like you're spending too much um and probably either a friend or a professional trying to tell you to not spend as much then there is well great worry over nothing casket someone is going out your life or in a situation i also see you guys moving on if there was a person that you was stuck on or you was shedding a tear okay i feel like you guys are not even shedding a tear anymore you you moving on from this person and you probably wondering like why was you getting emotional about this <laughs> okay um table hard um hard work ahead then there is clouds temporary problems okay then this look here, carrot, opportunity or windfall, and vulture, depression, anxiety, worry, someone is against you. I got a mixture of energy. So when it comes to career finances, some of you guys are spending too much money. You're making money, but you're spending too much. That's what I'm getting here. And then also what I'm getting here is that you may feel like you're putting a lot of work and you feel like you're not getting what you deserve. Or you may feel like things are slowing down. Now we are in a bear market. It looked like we're kind of in a recession, but it's not been, um, been, it haven't been declared that. So things just might be slowing down. Um, I feel like what we're trying to say with that main general message here is just take some time to reset to reground yourself. If you can't take a vacation, take a vacation. If you can't, just do something in your routine that prioritizes your self-care, your self-love, okay? 
um, that's what I'm getting here. So let's look at love. Let's see what's going on. All right, so universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen with Aries love life for these next two weeks? Tower universe, universe, give me four my cards. What's going to happen with Aries love life for these next two weeks? Universe, give me two, okay. <laughs> universe, give me one my card. What's going to happen with Aries love life for these next two weeks? It was so hard. Okay, let's pick up. Got two cards. Okay. Six of Wands in verse Six of Swords. I mean, Six of Wands in verse Queen of Swords in verse Devil. Okay, there's someone that's trying to keep you stuck. And it could be someone else, or it could be just the timing, okay? Because I do see, like, with finances, career, things might be slowing down. So it could just be right now the time, okay? Universe, clarify the Four of Wands. The Lover. It's okay. Ace of Swords, this is in the beginning though. Universe, cut by lovers of Ace of Swords. Look at that. That don't look bad. Okay. <laughs> so, for the singles, Aries, I do see you going to be connecting with someone soon. I just feel like this could be your energy or this could be you feeling like nothing good is going to happen when it comes to your love life. So, the universe is wanting you to get out of this energy because that's going to just only cause delays. Okay. Because again, what is meant for you is for you. Um, but this mentality just will just cause delays. Okay. Um, let's clarify. Universe, clarify the devil. Magician of rice. Yeah, some of you guys are thinking really pessimistically, if that's a word. <laughs> okay. Magician of rice. Strong card. Universe, clarify strong card. These are all major economies. Look at that. Full universe. Yeah, some of you guys are really being doubtful that your love life is not going to improve but it's actually improving okay let's see universe clap for the tower in reverse three of swords in reverse okay there's something that you need to address and this could just be within and that's going to cause some healing and that's going to cause some breakthrough okay but some of you guys have been avoiding this okay universe clap three of swords in reverse this could be like processing your emotions okay as a fire sign you know, we don't like to get emotional, <laughs> but it, it's trying to say it's time for a process your emotion, especially Aries who have Scorpio in their chart, because Scorpio tends to be that way too when they're numb. OK. Um, also, I do see someone is wanting to, for you guys to talk, but you're avoiding them. You don't want to reconcile with them. This could be a Scorpio or air sign. Universe cover four pentacles in reverse. King of swords in reverse. Universe cover king of swords in reverse. King of cups. Universe cover King Cups. Star in reverse, two of swords. Yeah, this is pessimism. You have someone that is like a King of Cups, but you guys are more caught up with what had happened with previous connections. And you're thinking that it's always going to be that way, and that's not the case. Universe cover Six of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. There's good luck. Things are changing positively for you, but you guys don't even see it. Universe cup for the eight of swords, three of cups. So trying to say go out more. Universe cup by three of cups, nine of wands. You you feel like it's pointless, okay, to connect with people at this moment because you feel like it's just going to be the same thing or it's not going to be how you would like it to be. But it's trying to say things are changing for you. So I noticed um, with fire signs, the card's been calling out fire signs out a lot, <laughs> okay? They call out Leo. Now they're calling out you, okay? With Leo, it was a different message. It was showing that um, they just need to be better with communication and stuff like that. With you, it's trying to say you just need to get out of your own way, okay? So what I'm going to hear, things are going to change for you, but you don't see the change. Um, so the universe is just wanting you to clear out any type of negative self-belief, um, clear out any type of trauma, healing from that, 
and it doesn't necessarily need to be that deep it could just be like um you've always found yourself in toxic relationships um or connections that was not showing you love it doesn't necessarily need to be like sexual abuse but it can be it's trying to say you need to just clear out any type of trauma so this can happen to you for, for this love to happen quicker or sooner if you want it want it want it to happen i mean okay because it's still going to happen again like what's trying to say whatever that's for you is going to be for you i just see the only thing that will cause a delay or a block is just you okay um so the signs that might be significant i'm gonna look at the major arcanas so we have capricorn and also gonna look at the suit cards we got air water we got um taurus leo scorpio and aquarius and scorpio here okay and pisces so let's see what else i'm getting universe give me a four card spread of messages you have for aries when it comes to their love life for these next two weeks differences oath so you guys made like a negative oath to yourself or a negative affirmation like you you mentioned that you will always be single or yeah the universe don't want you to affirm negative things in your life you know being single is not negative but I'm, if you're affirming that you would never find the love you need to remove that out of your head okay that's what I'm getting. It just it's it's trying to say really clear out any type of negativity. Universe clarify differences, choices. You also may feel like you don't connect with the right people. Universe clarify movement. Focus. Yep. It's just but it's basically changing your focus. That's it. So. Okay, let's look at finances. Let's look at career finances. All right, so universe, give me a four card spread. What's going to happen with Aries career and finances for these next two weeks? Okay, so the Jenna energy is center, surrender to divine, full moon, rejuvenate rain, clear the past, heal the present. Then it is time to release negativity, full moon, and Scorpio. Discovering the truth, you stand in life and truth. And there is be bold, make the first move, cardinal moon, which is your energy here. Universe, clarify cardinal moon. Great adventure, take a risk, venture forward. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Okay, so hmm. some of you guys are wanting to do something, but you may feel like either the funds, like you're not, you feel like you're not where you need to be to open a new business, launch a new business, okay? And you don't want to use your savings. You feel like there's some form of restriction, okay? And you guys don't like that. That's what I'm getting here. So finances, you may feel like you don't like how your finances is going, but I don't see it really doing bad. It's just like you feel like you can't spend the way that you want to spend, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So let's look, let me pick up more on career. Okay, so Unified, give me a face card spread. What's going to happen with Aries' career for these next two weeks? Coffin, change, well, university, one more card, courtship, adjudication. Okay, so the next two weeks, career might be a little off, okay? Either there's going to be a change of management or there's someone who's really being critical on you when it comes to your work universe clarify courtship 
imprisonment yeah i do see that so just make sure these next two weeks you just do everything the way that it should be done be on your p's and q's making sure you cross your t's out your eyes okay that's what i'm getting here so let's look at the angel answers and then i'm gonna go to all signs Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. Universal messages do you have for Aries for these next two weeks? Helpful people, meditation, bring answers in the near future, and wait. It's up to you. Universe, clarify, wait. Take action, improving health. It's telling you wait, but take action, improving health. So be patient. So don't act before you think, just be more patient like only acting when you feel like you got the okay from the universe not acting just based on emotions okay that's what i'm gonna hear universe clarify in the near future if you believe universe clarify if you believe opportunity yep it's about also changing your mentality being more optimistic instead of pessimistic okay because again anything that you focus on that you don't want to happen you bring that in in your life more so the universe just wants you to shift your mind shift shift your focus basically okay so let's look at the all signs we're going to be starting with your fellow sign aries okay so universe what's going to happen with aries and aries for these next two weeks flexible Okay, universe is going to happen with Aries and Aries for these next two weeks. Archway, new opportunities, possible, and possibilities, and paths opening up. So be open to change. Okay, that's this general message here. But if you're dealing with a fellow Aries, tower, solid foundation, successful effort. Um, I feel like we're trying to say be open for new love. You're, if your ex was an Aries as well, be open for new love. Okay, the, the new person doesn't necessarily need to be an Aries, but trying to just be open for new love. If you're done with a new Aries, I feel like it's more so being more patient with them, being more understanding. Okay, let's look at Taurus. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Taurus for these next two weeks. Between worlds, this is about transitioning. This is about going to a new chapter in the process. The universe is going to what's going to happen. June. Some of you guys are going to Asia. Some of you guys are going to Singapore, Japan, Tokyo. The universe is going to happen. Mice, discord among friends or family. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you guys are moving on when it comes to tours. This doesn't necessarily need to be a lover too. This could be like a friend, like you, you feel like that friendship is no longer serving a purpose in your life anymore. This could also be a family member. I just see you moving on from e tours. Let's look at um, Gemini. Okay, universe is going to happen with Aries and Gemini for these next two weeks. Why? So the Gemini, it's wanting to still talk to you. They want answers from you. Universe is going to happen with rose romances in the air. This person is still in love with you or still like you. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Gemini. Fire, strong emotion, passion, love, or hate. So yeah, this person is still in love with you, but um, they... But you probably don't feel this way about them. You don't feel the same way. You probably actually despise this person, okay? So they want to know why you don't like them anymore, why you don't love them anymore. Okay, let's look at um, Cancer. Okay, universe is going to happen with Aries and Cancer for these next two weeks. A change in the wind. Okay, so there is dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you. So I see a cancer, either a cancer ex, a cancer friends with benefits, friends with benefits situation, ship, whatever. A past person is thinking about you, this cancer. Universe, gavel, involvement with the law, 
Um, this is someone who is trying to see if you guys can talk again. So this could be someone that you blog. Some of you guys, you put like a, a protective order on them. They're still trying to see how you guys can reconnect. Okay. They're going to change their strategy. Let's look at Leo. Okay. Universe, what's going to happen? Okay, my card is coming through. Soulmates and never ending story. Oh my gosh. So there's a Leo who they feel like you are their soulmate. This is also a karmic connection. This is someone who comes in and out your life. That's what else I'm getting. So universe, what's going to happen with Aries and Leo for these next two weeks? Bird flying, the muse is on the way. You are going to hear from them. Some of you guys don't want to hear from them. <laughs> okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Leo for these next two weeks. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Leo. Dark woman dealing relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Okay, so you're going to hear from this person. It's like a cycle. Okay, let's look at Virgo. Okay, universe is going to happen with Aries and Virgo for these next two weeks. A leg up. Okay. Um, random message. You might meet this person when you guys are flying. When you're traveling, when you're taking a trip. A business trip. A key successful outcome to your problems. This person might work in an airport as well. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Virgo dragon beware of self delusion okay so this virgo is delusional but i feel like you guys can work okay ladies might be a little delusional okay so let's look at um libra all right so universe is going to happen with virgo and libra for these next two weeks yang okay the libra could be your divine masculine or your divine feminine let's see what it's about Universe is going to happen. Eagle, trumpet over troubles and obstacles. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Libra. December and cloud temporary problems. Okay, if you guys have been having issues, I feel like you guys can work out the difference if you want this connection still. Some of you guys are gonna meet this person within the next two weeks or you're gonna meet them in December, okay? You're going to meet them in December. You might meet them when, you, again, when you guys don't even want to be bothered by relationship and love. Okay. So you might be in this energy for a little while. So let's look at Scorpio. All right. So the universe is going to happen with Aries and Scorpio for these next two weeks. Chop wood. You letting a Scorpio go for good. Okay. The universe is going to happen with um, Aries and Scorpio for these next two weeks. So there is rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Okay, this person feel like they got power, like they feel like they're the one that got the power in the relationship. Moon changes in your life. Yeah, you. I feel like you're gonna let them go. You. It might be emotional for you to let them go, but you're gonna let them go because you know that there's just someone who's not ready to. Um, love you. Okay. So let's look at Sagittarius. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Sagittarius for these next two weeks. Chaos and conflict. Okay. Have you guys been connecting with the Sag? There might be some drama between you and them these two weeks. Okay. So there is Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Then there is fair man dealing a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. The universe is going to happen with um, Aries and Sagittarius for these next two weeks. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. Okay, I feel like something might interfere with this connection, okay? It could be them dealing with someone else or just an interference. Okay, let's look at um, Capricorn. The universe is going to happen with Aries and Capricorn for these next two weeks. Clean it up. A Capricorn want to fix things with you. Okay. 
So there is carrot, opportunity or windfall, torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So this person feel like they have mature. Um, they're realizing what they have done that was wrong and they wanted to fix things with you. Universe, okay. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. You, you want to cut them out for good though, okay. So let's look at Aquarius. All right, universe, what's going to happen with Aries and Aquarius for these next two weeks? Poise. So Aquarius is acting unbothered on face, really detached. Universe is going to happen with Aries and Aquarius. Bouquet, compliments for admirer. So if, while this person is acting like this, I feel like you guys are going to be doing you. You're going to be connecting with someone else. They might be a new Aquarius. Okay. Someone who have a crush on you. Vine, seek out information that will help you. Universe, clarify Vine. Arrow, you on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. So if your current person is acting really cold and detached, and you've been feeling like you, should need, you need to disconnect and just do you, date, keep your options open, you, it's trying to say yes, your intuition is right. If you've been connecting with Aquarius, And you just feel like it's just off. Like you feel like they might be entertaining someone else. Then you're right. And trying to keep your options open. And then some of you guys are going to meet with a new Aquarius. Okay. Um, this person is going to act really unbothered. But they're actually going to um, grow feelings for you. Okay. And you're going to know that. Okay. You're going to feel they are attached or emotionally um, connected to you. So let's look at Pisces. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Pisces for these next two weeks. Co-create. You might have a child or children with a Pisces. Okay, so universe is going to happen with Aries and Pisces for these next two weeks. Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. I also see the karma coming your way. Our universe is going to happen with Aries and Pisces. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone's against you, and broken wishbone, which will not be granted. So, okay, I feel like for the masculine Aries who's having a child with a Pisces, probably um, the feminine um, Pisces is going through something emotionally. They might be going through postpartum depression, so just be more understanding. Um, another message I'm getting here. There's going to be a Pisces who's going to self-sabotage this connection because they're going to be in their feelings. There was a lot of potential, but they're just going to self-sabotage. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal read with me at queenfortotarot.com.